are the years? Now, you you uh, went a little bit on the edge here, right? Yes, I did. I got adventurous. You got the most popular one in Trinidad, which is the goat roadie. Yes. Canadians try. Today we're trying Trinidad street food. Yes we are. So what is this we've got here? This is called a double. Over there we go. What's a, now what's a double? It looks like it has like a crispy fried dough on there. On the outside and then um, when you open it up it looks like it's got uh, like a, a chickpea uh, paste. So this is vegetarian I think you told us, didn't you? Yes, yes. Completely vegetarian. So our vegetarian friends, doubles. Now they only serve these on Saturdays or Sundays normally I think on the weekend. But, yeah. Uh, you had them today, it's, it's family day here. Yes it is. And uh, we are back on the uh, our old set for, uh, what do we used to do? Quarantine Island. Quarantine Island. We also did some big and skinny stuff but man we figured with this polar vortex that's going on out here that a little tropical vibe would be. That's right. We turned the furnace up to 85. And we got these warm lights on, so it's just like being in the tropics. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this place was located on Richmond and Piccadilly. Yes. It's called uh, Trini Man. Uh, 700 Richmond. Or 700 Richmond, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's the old Penguins building. It's where Molly Blooms is. Yes, downstairs. Don't go in the front door. No. At least when we went there, the front door was locked. You had to go around the back, go in the back door <laughs> to get down to get in. So, just something to keep in mind. Seemed like a super nice guy, didn't he? Very. Really nice guy. So, we should probably go ahead and try this. Oh, okay. Should we cut it in half? Yeah. We should cut it in half. Sol. We've never tried this kind of soda before, have we? I don't believe. Solo. Not Sol. Solo. I thought that was an E on the end. Um, I got banana, or no, Lucinda got banana. I got pineapple. I was just thinking banana because of the color. Yours was orange, right? Definitely orange here. Your soda. So, I'm gonna just pour a little bit of mine while I'm here. Very orange. Very orange. So, hard to cut, being crispy? Yes. Um, probably gonna be messy to eat, you think? I would think so, yeah. Um, it smells like cilantro, but he told me you had a different spice in it. What's a cilantro he told me? But for the life of me, I can't remember what the spice was. Do you know what that spice is? It tastes like cilantro that they use in Trinidad? Do the message below. They're sweet. They do have a sweetness to them, don't they? Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Mm. That's all right. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Well, mm, those are delicious. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. That's not going to satisfy my appetite. So let's see what we got next. All right, so you're going to try your pop, are you? Your yes. soda? I'm going to. Pineapple. They tell me this is the most popular one. That's why we got it. We're going to get ginger beer, but I'm not a huge fan of ginger beer. This is very much pineapple tasting. Like not fake pineapple tasting, like real pineapple tasting this one. It almost tastes like uh, that champagne cola. Champagne cola. They had that there too. I like champagne cola. Mm -hmm. it reminds me of iron brew. It's got that flavor of candy necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good flavor. So Roti is what we're having today, right? Mm -hmm. So this is mine, and mine is a beef roti. I'm not sure what's in roti besides the meat. So I'm not going to know until we open this up, I guess. Yeah. Are you sure? Do you have any idea? No, no idea at all. Well, let's have a look at yours. Now, you you uh, went a little bit on the edge here, right? Yes, I did. I got adventurous. You got the most popular one 
from Trinidad, which is the goat. goat. Yes. Now I got my spice. You didn't get your spice. No. But then again, I never had goat. <laughs> Maybe you should have gotten spice. <laughs> now I've had goat once that I can remember at a uh, a wedding. You should go ahead and cut that in half. Maybe I'll get the camera back up. I think I had a. Uh, we'll see what's inside of it. I had goat at a wedding once, didn't we? But it was like a stewed goat, right? Mm-hmm. Something hard in there? Bones. Goat bones. Oh. Right? I didn't think the goat would have bones in it. Oh, I better get this camera out of here. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Didn't you have a camera on there? <laughs> yes, I was going to say, the, uh, the goat I had had bones in it. Uh, I guess the goat you're going to have also had bones in it, right? Well, that's, I'm sure that's a traditional way of serving it. Well, that is dangerous eating that. <laughs> there yeah, goes you, the tooth. I don't think I just, uh, now they, they say this is a, uh, a sandwich, a Trinidad sandwich, basically, is what they call it. That would be a tough sandwich to eat. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to just dive into it. So I'm going to take uh, mine open here, and I don't see any bones in mine, surprisingly. <laughs> Got so, some potato. Yes, potato in there. I remember potato. I think there's uh, some spices and some uh, chickpeas. Right. So, try the goat. Little bone, mm -hmm. cartilage. This is gonna be a finger food. Definitely a curry in there, isn't it? Has a lot of flavor to me. And potato is really a big ingredient uh, in that part of the world too, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. um, the wrap is uh, interesting. Yeah. It... It's like it's made like a crepe almost, don't you think? Yeah, you can see, but uh, it, with corn, you can see it's almost a really coarse cornmeal. Mm hmm. I enjoy it. I mean, the meat's not bad. The meat's quite tasty. But I'm scared about chopping it into a bowl. Well, just have your wits about you when you eat that one. But eat slowly. Mm hmm. Enjoy it. Savor. Well, it's very savory. And I like that. It's, it's got some spice to it, and I like that. Now you got yours mild, so you probably didn't have the spice mine does to it. But the spice is good. Uh, I'm happy with this. Now the price on these, I think these rotis are about $13 a piece. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of eating there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. um, I think it costs us about 40 bucks all together with the doubles and the, uh, the soda. Mm -hmm. So, price isn't bad. What a super nice guy! The guy that owns it. Oh, definitely. I I knew I had seen him before when we went in there, and I got to tell you, the first time I ever had a Caesar chicken wrap, probably 20 years ago, at a festival in London. Yep. He made it off his food truck, and God, it was delicious. It, I could not believe how good that was when we had that for the first time, right? So, we say go ahead and try this. Uh, if you've tried it, leave a comment below and tell us what you think of it. Share it. Subscribe, comment, and look for us next time. I'm Dave. And I'm Lucinda. And we'll miss you, but we'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.